Hey, automation enthusiasts, this is John Strumman from Microsoft's Mighty South region. Today, we're going to look at an example of a Power Automate automated worker that can process an invoice and actually catch addition errors in the invoice. So on the screen, we see an invoice sent to Contoso from Wingtip Toys, and it's got a subtotal and tax and some shipping. Unfortunately, the total at the bottom, 3445.87, is actually over by $100. The real total is 3345.87. So if we think about the benefit to customers in something like an automation handling this is that if you're looking at one invoice, it might not seem like a big deal, but if you're processing hundreds of these a day, that's a lot of work for human workers and the real potential for these errors to get missed. And so you, the customer could end up paying out a lot more money than they should. So the idea behind the automated worker is this invoice is emailed into a central inbox. The automaker work, automated worker kicks off and uses a custom AI builder model, processes all of the figures, and then does the addition and compares the addition to the total on the invoice. So let's take a quick look at the automation. And you'll see that it's triggered by the new email arriving. And then I initialize all the variables I need. <clears throat> and down here, this is where we really start to see the magic. I've got my custom AI builder model that I configured myself called Contoso Invoices. And that was simply building an AI builder model in the drag and drop interface and using examples of invoices. Once AI builder processes the invoice and extracts all the data, I do an addition for the total. And then the automation simply says, these does the total that was added up from the shipping tax and subtotal actually equal the total on the invoice? If it does, the invoice is processed, it's uploaded to our internal storage, and an email is sent to the finance department saying, okay, to pay that invoice. If, if it doesn't, an invoice is sent back to the customer saying, hey, thanks for your invoice, but there seems to be a mistake here. So uh, please resubmit the invoice. So now to see this work, we'll click the test button. And I'll say, let's test manually. So I'm just gonna do this on a manual trigger and actually just send in an email. So once we see the spinner, we know we're ready to go. I minimize that and go to my email inbox. I've got the email ready to go and I just click send with the attachment of the invoice. And then we go back and let's watch our flow run. So we saw the email come in. So our inbox has received the invoice and now the flow should be kicking off very shortly. And so the automated worker is set to monitor the inbox. And when the email comes in with the attachment, it'll grab that attachment save the attachment and then use the AI builder model to process the information in the attachment and then the, do the addition and compare the addition amount to the amount that was quoted on the invoice. So we see we're getting our green check marks here. One more and the flow is done. Let's see if we got the email saying that the invoice was incorrect. And I did. So here's the email that came in from the automated worker saying, thank you for your recent invoice dated February 15th. However, the math is incorrect on the invoice. Can you please check the addition and resubmit the invoice? So the benefit that we see here is that automated workers can take over the processing of these invoices. They can automatically check the math and then alert a customer that they need to resubmit the invoice and the invoice will never hit the invoicing department and finance department until the automated worker determines that the addition is correct. So it frees up our human workers to do things like build relationships and establish these long-term relationships with customers instead of spending their time opening emails, reading invoices, and doing actual addition with a calculator. So I hope you see the benefit in that, and thank you for your time, and look forward to more videos coming soon.